Imagine, just for a moment, you are a king or a queen, a supreme leader, living in the lap of luxury, with unlimited amounts of money, unlimited power, and an unlimited number of people ready to do absolutely anything you desire. No matter how excessive or difficult it may be, three men in history have lived this life. More than any other, these three men have permanently reshaped the world we live in for the better, and their ideas still rule the world to this very day. And each of these men has a secret that has never been told, a secret that has made them who they are and gave them everything they had. And today, from beyond the grave, these three men will speak. They will share their secret with you, and when the secrets get out, they're out, and nothing will ever be the same. I traveled to the places that these three men once ruled in search of these secrets. I set foot in China, where one of the greatest wonders of the world, the Great Wall of China, still stands resolute to this day, enduring the test of time. China, the home of one of history's greatest emperors. While there, I uncovered the secrets behind the incredible success of the Chinese Empire that reigned over much of the world's economy for centuries, and the ancient Chinese philosophy that manifests near limitless wealth and prosperity for anyone who applies it into their lives. Then it's off to Egypt, where the Great Pyramids remain a testament of the ancient Egyptians' ingenuity and engineering. What I discovered there would forever change my life. It was there that I learned all about the secret teachings of the famed mystery schools in Cairo and Alexandria, the very same teachings that the secret was based on. And yet, you'll be shocked to discover that there's a secret behind the secret that has been kept from the masses. And finally, I traveled to Israel to walk in the footsteps of the richest men who ever lived. I was humbled to learn the ancient wisdoms that still apply today. I left Israel a changed man. Never have I felt more serene, more at peace with myself after having attained the wisdom that I found in this holy land. Right now, allow me to share my journey with you, but more importantly, allow me to share my discoveries. I promise you, these discoveries will grant you abundance, limitless wealth, incredible power over every aspect of your life, the peace and serenity that you've sought after for so long. And that is just the beginning. Welcome to the Ancient Secrets of Kings. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Winter V, and I know exactly why you're here. Because you're looking for this. That switch you can flip that turns your life from darkness to light from confusion to clarity, and from an uphill battle to a life where wealth and success just flow to you easily, like a force of gravity. And you're sick of waiting for it. Well, it's time for results. Real results. That you can see, touch, and feel. And of course, results you can spend. Well, I have good news for you. Because that switch, it exists. We've officially found it and you're going to get a chance to flip it before this video is even through. At that point, the money will come, and boy will it come. But that's not really what this video is about. What we're most interested in is what happens next. This world is suffering right now, and it needs good leaders like never before. It needs benevolent and powerful kings and queens who actually have the power to make a difference. And we need to make sure that we outnumber them. That's why we will be moving extremely quickly to get you to your financial goals and your financial dreams so we can use that power to make a mark on the world that the world will never forget. That's why just days into this program, you will begin climbing out of your financial hole and really start building wealth way beyond what you would ever need. See satisfying and passionate relationships bloom before your eyes and experience a body that's good as new from the inside out and boast the energy of a 16-year-old no matter what age you are now. And wouldn't that be nice?
I mean, with all the courses you've been buying, has anything made a truly radical shift like the one I'm talking about, as opposed to just promises? Listen, if my stats are correct, you're making about as much money as you were when you first started this personal development journey, minus everything you've spent on the courses. And more than anything, you just want traction. You want to feel good about what you're doing, to know that you're moving forward, hitting your targets, and beginning to taste the life of personal and financial freedom you so desire. And you want to enjoy yourself doing it. I saw a client yesterday who got out of $20,000 of tax debt since he started using this program. Today, I saw a client that repaired a relationship with her mother, even though they hadn't spoken for nearly a decade. And I have people that could barely get up the stairs playing soccer with their son for 45 minutes straight. They flipped the life switch, and that's what can happen when you do. Now, I would never say that everyone will become rich, happy, and famous with this course. But I would say that these secrets have been secretly used throughout history to do exactly that. We're bringing that power back that's been hidden for too long, which may leave you wondering, how could these secrets be so old and yet work so well in our modern setting? Well, I wondered that myself, and what I've found is that it was just all a big misconception that I got from my schooling. Old doesn't mean dumb, not at all. You're about to find out it's quite the opposite. They actually knew more about money and success than all of today's personal development products combined. I know because I've been teaching and coaching on this stuff for years. I've had a lot of wonderful success stories in that time. I made a name for myself and was earning a living most would die for. But with the ancient secrets of kings, I've never had so much fun. It's a different world because it's a lot faster. The potential for results are a lot bigger than ever before. In fact, I can't even compare it to anything I've done before. It's operating on a completely different playing field. I see smiles and even laughter in the first five minutes into the program. And I'm constantly receiving emails and messages about how things they've learned from Ancient Secrets of Kings has helped them get that big promotion or close that huge business deal. Well, I could have stopped there, but my soul honestly got restless. And I got that strange feeling that something was still missing, like I wasn't reaching near what my potential could be. I felt I had to do something totally different from what I've been doing. So instead of going wider for information, like more self-help books, I decided it was time to go deeper into the art of success, no matter where that took me. Doing a Google search one day, I stumbled upon a quote from Confucius, which said simply, study the past if you would define the future. And that got me thinking. What if what I was looking for wasn't in any book at all, but in an old legacy? Why not look into those men who are the most successful of anyone on earth? The ones with the greatest architectural feats, the greatest political influence, the greatest spiritual influence, and of course, the greatest fortunes. They must have known something nobody else did. What was it? As I began to look into that, Three men kept popping up in my research as the ones who really excelled in all of these categories. They were the fourth dynasty pharaoh Khufu of ancient Egypt, Emperor King Shi Wang of ancient China, and King Solomon of ancient Israel. And interestingly enough, each of these men had a signature monument, an amazing architectural feat that became a fascination to the world throughout the ages. I had to see these monuments firsthand to fully understand these men, or maybe it was just an excuse for occasion. But either way, I booked a three-part flight for Cairo, Egypt, and the Pyramids of Giza, Beijing, China, and the Great Wall, and Jerusalem, Israel, and the Temple of Solomon. Because the monuments are always a symbol of what the man stood for, and I had to know, what kind of code did they leave behind in those monuments for me to crack? You're about to find out exactly what I found in this wild ride back or into the ancient world. Or as I found out, it was actually a ride into the future. But is it really backwards at all? Now, before we have a liftoff, I want you to understand something. Where are we going? Now, is it really into the past or are we going into the future? Just think about that for a second. There's really nothing ancient about China. Their empire hasn't gone anywhere. In fact, the U.S. economy, the world's superpower, is currently dependent on China to stay afloat economically. 
Many analysis predict that they may just grab that top spot any day now. Napoleon Bonaparte once said of China, let her sleep for when she wakes, she will shake the world. And boy, do they. Here's the interesting thing that I found. Their success right now is really founded on the same principles they had then, applied to a modern era, which are once again ruling the world. But then comes the big daddy, the civilization that really started it all when it comes to success, wisdom, and spirituality, and that is ancient Egypt. What can we say about ancient Egypt that will give it justice? Some say they were even more advanced than we are now. In truth, that is a pathetic understatement. Don't believe anything your school books try to get you to believe. In ancient Egypt, they had board games, cosmetics, judges and juries of their peers, specialized medicine, even a woman's lib movement. The next one almost seems like a joke, but serious historians are now considering the possibility that they had operational airplanes somewhat similar to the ones we use today. Some of those hieroglyphics certainly make it look that way, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. When we get to the Pyramid of Giza, things became downright spooky. First off, science is baffled about how they simply put that pyramid together. No contractor today can even build half a pyramid with those dimensions and bricks that heavy. They've tried and well, they've failed. But way spookier than that are the messages encoded in the pyramid. Don't ask me the details on this because it's way beyond me. But apparently, if you know how to measure the pyramid the right way, you find familiar numbers that seem eerily familiar. You will find numbers that we have only discovered in the past 100 years. For instance, it's clear that they knew Pythagorean's theorem and advanced geometry. They knew what pi was, up to five digits past the decimal point. What about advanced physics? Well, they had that too. You'll find in the measurements, they knew exactly what the speed of light was, as well as another measurement we have no idea how to discover, called faster than speed of light. The codes in this pyramid show these men could put any modern scientist today to shame, but it goes even further than that if you can believe it. Energy. They knew how to harness and trap energy from the stars, something we know nothing about. And with this energy, they appear to have been able to create a current pretty similar to our current day electricity. I've heard claims that the codes indicate even knowledge of molecular biology. So it really makes you think, what the hell was going on 4,000 years ago? Because nobody taught me this stuff in school, but that still ain't it. When we move from the physical to the spiritual, the rabbit hole goes deeper. Energies have been discovered in the pyramid that have almost magical powers. The ability to heal, to calm, and the ability to preserve food almost indefinitely. Indeed, the main purpose of the pyramid was spiritual, to take the kings and actually turn them into gods. And it seems basically that's what they almost were. No wonder everyone worshipped them as such. So the knowledge was off the charts. But where did all that knowledge go? Well, the answer is it didn't disappear. Knowledge rarely ever does. It has just gone underground to the secret societies, like the 33rd degree Masons, the Skull and Bones, the Knights of the Golden Circle, and the highest degree of Masonry. What most people don't realize is that all these elite organizations, they all study deep ancient Egyptian knowledge in what they call their mystery schools. And surprise, surprise, those organizations, the ones with the wisdom, pretty much run things in the Western world. You won't find many presidents that aren't Masons or part of some other major secret society. And now look at the back of your dollar bill, and what do you see? You'll see that the Pyramid of Giza is still in control of the money as well. No question they operate at a higher playing field, a higher field of energy perhaps. Possibly, but one thing's for sure, we've been left in the dark about it. That's the reason why we are where we are and they are where they are. And finally, Israel. I had to visit this country as well because growing up in a Catholic household, I knew that the Israelites were at first enslaved by Egypt and the pharaohs and ultimately wound up getting the upper hand, at least for a little while. Now, who could get the upper hand on those pharaohs? Were they even more advanced than they were? Well, if you believe the story, you'll know that a pretty smart young man named Moses was raised in the Pharaoh's household and in charge of a great deal of the operations of the country. 
No question, he had this knowledge, and then he turned it against them. Did he know something they didn't? And why has Israel, when so many other great civilizations have fallen, persisted until today? Why are the descendants of that very same population occupying leading positions in Hollywood and the news media, science and the arts, when they make up 2% of the population and were nearly annihilated just 50 years ago? Incidentally, they have also produced one of the wealthiest men who ever lived in recent history and locked down 20% of Nobel Prizes, when once again, they are only 2% of the population. All right, it's 4 a.m. It's still dark out, we're really tired. It's time to go to the airport. It seemed like they also knew something I had to know. These thoughts, well, they swirled around in my mind as I sat on the runway, when I had this overwhelming feeling that once I discovered what I was going to discover on this trip, nothing would ever be the same. And it wasn't. So without further ado, let's roll the tape back on my journey back into time to the greatest civilizations of all time. As I walked the streets, I was blown away by how huge everything was. The streets, the buildings, the entirety of Beijing itself, it just blew me away. I've traveled the world before, but I've never been floored at the mass existence they have developed here. But my eyes were set on the prize, the Great Wall of China, which has been standing for more than 2,400 years and has been visited by everyone from Nelson Mandela to David Copperfield and actually has been the driving force of inspiration for a nation that has dominated the world stage. While all other powerhouse civilizations, such as ancient Rome, have withered and died off. What we learned at the wall gave us a lot of clues, but we enlisted the help of an expert to help us crack the code. We went to the best historians we could find, and we grilled them for hours until we found out exactly what makes the Chinese people tick, what made Qin Shi Huang of China tick, and what is generating the massive success today. And it took a while, but we found gold. Well, if you're going to force me to choose just one trait that is responsible for our success, let me show you something. These are letters in the Chinese alphabet. Five of them meaning the same thing, self-discipline. It is the only language that has such a thing. If you look at the dictionary, self-discipline is defined as And here's one more thing. I want to show you something written in the Ethics of Confucius. First in importance is the will. When one wills what he wishes and wishes what he wills, he will become clear and firm. And the man is his will. His desires should be disciplined. That is character. Here's another quote. To subduce one's self and return to propriety, is perfect virtue. Men must be resolute about what they will not do, and then they will be able to act with vigor. What do you see from this, Winter? Well, why don't you tell me? It means the real secret of Chinese success is self-discipline, or as some would call it, becoming a god over oneself. Good habits, Overcoming laziness and procrastination, loyalty to schedules, loyalty to family, and most importantly, being resolute not only about what we will do, but what we will not do. From there, I went further. I actually dug deep into the way the Chinese exercise their self-restraint so successfully, when Americans seem to fail in that department. And I picked up gem after gem. And the results I started to see when I got back and started implementing literally blew my mind. It was almost as if I had a 48-hour day instead of one that was just 24. I was coming out with more content than I ever have before, and my income was going up rapidly. I lost any desire to skip the gym or sleep in late, and I even kicked smoking. Indeed, China has something we've all been missing out on. 
but my students aren't going to miss out on it any longer. While we were in China, we thought we might also investigate a famous trivia question you may have come across. What monument is the only monument visible from the moon? The answer often given is the Wall of China. But is that true? Let's see what our expert historian had to say on this topic. I think there's a genealogy of that knowledge, you know.、Uh, so I'm not quite sure. There's a report saying that this actually, as late as the sort of、uh, early 19th century, you have got reports of this thing. Even before, let's say the space flight and all that, there were people who were making comment that if you view it from space, what can you see, what can you not? So the Great Wall is one of those that you can view. Yeah.、Uh, so. Uh, that has been, in a way, also been even embedded in Chinese school textbooks at the primary school level to tell them that this is one, pr- how proud you can be that this is one man-made structure they can view from space.、Uh-huh. But then there are also, in a way,、uh, reports running contrary to this、uh, because、uh, NASA, for example, which is the leading authority in America about space flight and everything, the official NASA stand is that you cannot. If this trip ended here, it would have been well worth it. But we've just begun. We're onto the most fascinating, misunderstood, and downright spooky locations in the world: the pyramids of Giza. That also is, in some sense, in control of Western society to this very day via the mystery schools. Once again, we went to see it firsthand, and then met up with Egypt's world-class historians to help us crack the code. How did they move move the rocks, and how was that all performed? Yeah, it's very difficult way because the pharaonic people it has a different mind than now. You, you know, you can't know. But、uh, in, uh, we hear it and we just、uh, know it that the pharaonic people that working and move the stone from all the Cairo to here, from all the Cairo, from place called Mokattam, mountain of Mokattam. So we get the stone by the Nile. We get it inside the boat because the Nile in the ancient time. The Nile flood, so they used the boats to get from the the stone from all the Cairo here by the Nile, and then build to the big pyramid. Big pyramid takes thirty years to building, takes thirty years to big to build this pyramid, the bigger one, the Cheops. And that's the one right behind us here. Yeah, yeah, this one. People will come there and meditate. People will come there and sleep in there, yeah, as you were saying. Yeah, and、course. there's some energy that's absorbed and and whatnot in there. Uh, uh, people uh, coming from all the world to go inside this tomb. To take、uh, energy,、yes. to take energy from places、uh, have a very very strong energy from the Pharaonic people, you know. So take the energy to to make and take relaxing inside, you know. Some people going in, stay, make relax and take the energy to keep all the problem and all the stress. This is one of the best places inside to to make、uh, meditate inside and to make、uh, relaxing. This is、uh, really yeah, it's good. A tomb that actually preserves fruit and has healing powers. I had to see this for myself. So people actually come down here and spend the night down here for the healing energies. People come down here and meditate in this area. And let me tell you, I mean, I have goosebumps in my arm. It's, it's really a unique area. I'm sitting where the mummy was actually found. Not many people get to do this. It's really a unique experience, and the energy down here is quite amazing. I'm just gonna sit here for a second and absorb this. I don't care what kind of skeptic you are. There is no denying I have had a significant boost in my energy levels and increased level of peace and well-being. And when it comes to money, I just started to have what I can only describe as good luck—a certain synchronicity that fell into place, and the money just began to flow so much more easily from everything I did. And here's the best news: you don't even have to go to Egypt at all to benefit from these energies. Because I conducted extensive research among spiritualists and scientists to discover some of the energetic principles that are behind the power of the Pyramid of Giza, and from my trials here in the U.S., we have discovered that we can achieve strikingly similar results. Here, you have something special you will never find anywhere else—a secret power from the ancient world being translated into money in your bank account, just like it did for the pharaohs. Enjoy the powers of a king in your modern life. I will forever be changed by my experience at the Pyramid of Giza, and the tombs that I visited. And while we are at it, we managed to solve another conundrum: How were the pyramids made? Experts in the U.S. are still baffled as to how those heavy stones, which weigh five thousand pounds, made it up so high. But we got a tip: there was a young historian who may just have the answer. And I must say. 
It certainly looks like she did. If you take the pyramids in Giza as an example, first of all, they used the ramps. They used mud brick ramps. They will be uh, spiral mud brick ramps around the pyramids, and then they will build wooden sledges, and they will put the heavy blocks of stone on the wooden sledges by pulling them by ropes, and then it will take 10 men on each side to pull those wooden, uh, wooden sledges up the ramp. Our evidence for that, that we found the remainings of such ramps behind the great pylon in Karnak Temple. If you go to Karnak at Luxor nowadays, you can still see the ramp. In the case of big pylons for temples and stuff, it's a straight ramp, like the one we found in Karnak, still existing till nowadays, made out of mud brick. That's why it was lost after the whole construction of pyramids and temples made out of limestone. They easily destroy the mud brick thing. So in the case of the pyramid, it will not be a straight ramp, but it will be a spiral ramp all around the top and then they will pull the sledges on wooden uh, they will pull the wooden sledges with the stone on top of it on the way down when they are doing the casing of the pyramid they just destroy the ramps this is one of the most uh, convincing theories about how they built pyramids and and temples and so on and egyptologists came up with different theories as well but this is the most convincing one and the one that is supported by some kind of evidence i don't think you'll find that info anywhere else online but right here on this video. We had one more stop left. The Holy Land of Israel, the most ancient civilization of all. According to the Bible, the very first man and the Garden of Eden were right here, and the civilization continues to reshape and innovate in our world way beyond its numbers. We were lucky enough to be able to catch up with two acclaimed experts with very different perspectives who both manage to wind up at a similar conclusion when it comes to King Solomon's secret to success. King Solomon was one of the most famous people who ever lived in the world. His father was King David. King David was the greatest king. We uh, especially remembered as the wise king, as the wisest of, uh, of kings, as the wisest of human beings uh, in general, a person who could uh, speak to the animals, who could understand the language of nature directly, and, uh, um, and uh, someone who had uh, also written uh, three books, uh, uh, contributed three books to the Bible, that became a sort of a cornerstone of um, uh, both of a literary uh, uh, style and of uh, moral philosophy. So actually it's about creating um, the fantasy of Jerusalem. King, the, the story about King Solomon, it's about this holy city that it is uh, glorious, that is as we call a golden city. Uh, I guess this is the story of the light shining out, of a city that kind of brings light to the world. But the great light, the spiritual light from inside the temple, we wanted to spread out into the world. Um, what King Solomon does, according to the Bible, is build Jerusalem into a magnificent city, and in the temple into some kind of a magnificent uh, edifice that all the ancient world would look up to. He reigned in peace. King David was a greater king and he unified the people, but he did it through war. And some say that's the reason he did not get to build the temple. But King Solomon, who did it with peace, had the honor of building the temple. And during his reign, the, the, the whole area was unified, north and south. And Everything was unified and the whole world respected Israel and came and gave great gifts to Israel because of their great respect for King Solomon. We also picked up a golden nugget from this guru that may just forever change my relationship with the money for the better. I was a little surprised when he seemed to have picked up on some issues I secretly was dealing with, and he got in my face about it. And this is a lesson for you. If you go into the world just to make money, no matter how much money you make, it's never going to be enough. I met a man 30, 40 years ago at $40 million. He said he needed more. There's never enough if that's your purpose. We'll be expanding on this critical concept in our trainings using some very interesting and practical ways. And it may just be your missing link to having both a happy life as well as a successful one. Because what's really the point of the latter without the former? There's much more than you see here. Because I did, I saw, and I even witnessed. You'll learn all about that in the members area in just a minute. I learned the language, I chartered the landscape of the country, I did business with entrepreneurs and saw how they operate. And the insights, well, they just kept coming. 
I ate and drank philosophy for every meal. And indeed, I found as I suspected that every major success in these countries was fueled by these great men and their philosophies. Three different paths, three different outlooks, which led to three very different symbols. But each trip was totally indispensable to my growth. I came back a new person and I couldn't have imagined one trip without the other, which is why I came to the conclusion that the ultimate success switch lies in incorporating all of these outlooks into your life because they are all right. Indeed, you must master yourself before you can begin to conquer the world around you. You must understand the science of energy, luck, and synchronicity so the universe propels you to success without any friction. And finally, you need to be able to turn that success into true prosperity. By directing all that energy towards others, becoming a benevolent entrepreneur, and creating a life that you can be proud of. Leading by example is King Solomon, the richest of the three men, and also well-liked and respected by the world leaders of his time. That's true success. On the plane ride back, my brain was bubbling over with everything I wanted to say and share with the world. I didn't want to forget any of it, so I went right into the work of building my system. Based on these three pillars, just one system that step-by-step -step takes advantage of the power of all of the kings and all of these underlying powerhouse civilizations so that you too can do exactly what they did. Rise the ranks and become just not a success, but a king over your environment, while at the same time being in total harmony with it. Making this product was a grueling process, but I did it. I was finally able to turn all those deep secrets into one single easy to digest product. That's why I call it the ancient secrets of kings. So I know you're curious, what's it like inside the Ancient Secrets of Kings members area? Well, it's different, and in a good way. We've built it using a learning style that's a bit new, but is getting mind-boggling results. We call it Pillars and Capsules. We have three basic pillars, namely for China, Egypt, and Israel. Then we have capsules for each pillar. The reason why we did it like this is because we've pulled you, and we know you crave instant gratification. So we made sure you're never bored, never confused, and always seeing results every single day. Instead of reading a hundred pages and still scratching your head, we spoon feed you the info in small little capsules. All you have to do is watch and listen for just a matter of seconds. And then, like a starburst, the idea is going to explode deliciously in your brain. We find a lot of students do a lot of laughing when they start, just because it's so new and so life-changing. They've never seen anything like it. It's almost like being invited into the secret society, minus the horrible initiation. And this setup forces you into action. You have the aha moment, and you know exactly what to do with it immediately. So there's no way a moment is wasted. New neural pathways will be paved quickly. Pathways to power. Because you will be walking in the footstep of the greatest men of all time. And step by step, you will step into their shoes. Rise the ranks and turn your life into everything you ever dreamed it could be. And I mean everything. In the China pillar, where the symbol is the Great Wall, we'll be covering boundaries. Without boundaries, you're completely open for attack from forces that wish to keep you from your dream life. That means when you get through this pillar, you'll be able to keep a schedule, eliminate procrastination, eliminate unwanted thoughts, and double your productivity. You will discover what loyalty means, real loyalty to your family, to yourself, and towards your potential in life. This pillar will also force you to completely organize and optimize your life. Just imagine how much you could accomplish if every aspect of it was perfectly organized. What if you could set big goals every day that you didn't even think were possible and hit every single one of them ahead of schedule? Think of how much more time you'll have for yourself and all the things you love. All that's going to make you a fitting vessel for the wealth that's coming your way in the next pillar. The second pillar is Egypt and your money. This is probably the most interesting pillar and it is definitely the point where we see the most drastic changes in our clients' lives. It's where we do three basic things. We help you get out of debt for those that need it. 
because it's impossible to become wealthy when you are in debt. We have the inside scoop on how to do this much faster than any credit counselors could do for you. Once that's done, we move on to the secret wisdom that I discovered during my trip. We go deep, using the principles of the pyramid to actually harness the energy of the universe just like the pharaohs did. When you align yourself with the stars, the universe sees you as the natural destination for everything good that's floating out there. It's just like setting up a dam on a river and redirecting the flow. Just like that, the money around you will be redirected in your direction, and you'll begin to understand why they call it cash flow. I know the energy part of it sounds weird, but it's really quite simple and practical when you get the hang of it, and you will, very quickly, with no prior skills required. At this pillar, you'll notice synchronicity coming into play. You'll notice things just start to line up and success just seems closer, more light and easy and attainable. As the universe actually starts doing the hard work for you, expect a lot of unexpected surprises in the mailbox, which are sure to make you smile no matter how many times it happens. I'm also going to get incredibly practical, showing you a tailor-made plan to radically increase your income no matter what job you do right now, and even if you have a full plate. It's paint by the numbers simple. We've tested this on thousands, and we haven't had a single person say they were confused or didn't know what to do next. These are elite tactics, which means they work a lot faster than you may be used to, and we shoot a lot higher than you may be used to as well, and incredibly quickly too. I'm going to break down the process bit by bit, how to double your income no matter where you are right now with a tailored-made plan in just months. I will also take you behind the curtain into my own business so you can see exactly how I use these principles to generate five figures in just one week. I'm going to break down the process bit by bit so each of you have a direct plan to do the exact same thing I did. We'll also be covering the key to the physical energy which the pharaohs had in spades. This will really be building on the previous capsules so it'll be familiar, but powerful, because you'll have the same secret the pharaohs had to running a worldwide empire on very little sleep. An easy thing to do once you know how to work with the energy all around us. Imagine being able to jump out of bed roaring like a lion instead of wallowing in guilt after hitting the snooze button yet again. We know everyone needs more money and we totally have you covered. But we don't just focus on making money for your lifetime. This is the ancient secrets of kings. So we focus also on creating enough money to build an inheritance, a family legacy that truly lasts forever. And then it's time for the ancient Israel pillar. For many of you, this pillar may mean becoming a millionaire. This can certainly happen as it packs even far more money-making power than the Egyptian pillar. But this pillar is about much more than just money. This is about creating peace in your life and peace with others around you, including friends, spouses, co-workers, and bosses. Without peace, money is worth nothing, and you'll see that. And you can't put a price on being loved. And to have both the money and the love at the same time is the name of paradise. And it's attainable. That's the best part. Hi, this is Brandy Sweezy, and I've been in personal development for well over 20 years just because of different challenges throughout my lifetime. And in that 20 years of, you know, reading and researching and working with a lot of different people, I never really got to the true root of what was going on. And a lot of the stuff seemed to really be very surface. And I knew there had to be something missing. And then when Winter introduced the ancient secret of the kings, I was like, bingo, that means, you know, going back throughout history to a time of kings and emperors and how they ran countries and, you know, managed their lives was a big, huge mindset shift for me. It wasn't just, you know, fluffy. It was like really getting to the root of where personal development originated from. I highly recommend Ancient Secret of the Kings if you really want to change your life. Hi, everyone. This is John Tellerico from A Million and You. I, you know, I've been in this industry a long time now, and I've seen a lot of courses. I've read a lot of books, all talking about the keys to success, unlocking the secret codes and all this stuff. Well, one course that I found is heads and shoulders above all others, and that is Winter's new course on Ancient Secrets of Kings. Winter has gone to great depths and great lengths to really understand that history does repeat itself, and that by understanding the patterns of history, you can understand and unlock the keys to your own success. So I highly recommend this course to anyone who really wants to 
tap into the greatness in, within each of you and move forward with their life. Thank you very much. Ancient Secret of Kings is by far the most fascinating and powerful program I have ever taken. And I've, I've taken them all. I saw results on the very first day. I know that sounds cliche, but I, I promise you, I, I still can't believe it myself, but I just went to the mailbox and there were two checks for $100 and $150 and I wasn't expecting money at all. Money really does come to me through all types of channels as I expected it to. And it has happened a few times since then. A speeding ticket payment got returned to me? Yes, a speeding ticket payment. I didn't even think that was possible. The law of attraction never got me these kind of results. I always thought I was doing something wrong. Apparently, I just needed Secrets of Kings because all of a sudden everything started going so smoothly and naturally. I've gone from just a woman to a queen. <laughs> I'm really starting to see what it takes to go from just a woman to a queen. And it's the most exciting journey I have ever had. You know, I've been in this industry for close to 15 years. I have read every personal development book I know. I've taken all the courses. And never once in my wildest imagination did I even think about this concept, about all these empires and these dynasties and these kings, what they knew and how they did what they did. What were their characteristics? What were their personality traits? And how can we replicate that into our lives today and imagine the impact it can have? I never even thought about that until Winter brought this very concept to my doorstep and I thought this might be the most cutting edge, uh, you know, the most cutting edge idea I've heard in a long time. And then he went out on this journey, shared with me what he learned. Then I went through the program and I have to tell you that in 10, 15 years, this might be the best information I have learned. Who doesn't want to be a king? And now you can literally replicate the key characteristics that made the biggest emperors and you can be an emperor. I have never been so happy since I started using the ancient secrets of kings. I love my life for the first time ever. I can say that honestly, I love it. In the past five years, I've had a divorce the death of both my parents, a fire that nearly burned down my house. I was underwater financially, and then you came along. This course, it sounded so intriguing, I just had to have it. At Pillar 1, I felt renewed, like I finally had my life together. At Pillar 2, things started almost magically turning around. My jewelry business got picked up by a major distributor on my third day into this pillar. And since then, I've gotten two more distributors, can barely keep up with all the orders right now. In pillar three, I learned what it truly means to love and to be loved by others. Something I was really having trouble with before. And that vibe I'm giving off, I think is just making the business grow even more. I can't imagine life without this course. God bless you for digging and finding these secrets. You found gold. Susie Lancaster. She isn't alone. We're proud to say we receive several emails like this every single day from all ages, races, and walks of life. And that's because the results are spoon-fed to you thanks to the accelerated learning system we have in place. You don't really need to think about it at all. Just watch. It'll beam directly into your brain and then to your hands and feet, and it'll happen. You're going to get results. I wouldn't be launching it if I didn't believe that with all of my heart. And now... Folks, it's time to talk pricing. We all dread this talk, because I know I do. But here's the reality. I spent $50,000 going on these trips and doing all the research. So you don't have to, but you're not going to pay fifty grand. I get paid 5000 for five consulting sessions, but you won't have to pay five k either. Even though this course is actually more powerful than what my clients have gotten in the past. And for a course covering almost every aspect of life, it's really three products in one. And for that reason, 250 would be completely fair. That's about $79 per product. But what if it wasn't 250? What if it was just 100 for all three pillars? $33 per product. Now, wouldn't that be awesome? It certainly would. But we're going to hand it to you for better than that. You're going to get these three products in one covering every aspect of life with secrets never before shared with the public for just, wait for it, 
$47, which is just $16 per product. I know I've made a lot of big claims, and I know somebody out there is asking, what if this is too good to be true? I get it, and that's why I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Here's the situation. I won't keep a dime of your money until you agree that I've come through on 100% of my promises. That's right, I'm backing this purchase with 100% satisfaction guarantee, as well as a 100% double achievement guarantee. A what? You're probably asking yourself. Well, it goes like this. I guarantee your productivity will double when you complete this course. I guarantee your satisfaction with life will double when you complete this course. And I guarantee that your income will increase significantly when you complete this course. If any of that doesn't happen, in fact, if you're unhappy with the course for any reason at all, you don't need to explain it. You don't need to feel bad about it. You just shoot us a message, and we shoot back every single penny you paid within 24 hours. You have 60 full days to decide what you want to do. Walk away happy, or walk away without paying a dime, but either way, you'll be happy, unless you do nothing at all. Then you'll feel a lot of regret. And by the way, even if you refund on the very first day, you get to keep the course for life, 100% free, and we will hold no grudge against you for it either. We really do want this in people's hands, whether you can afford it or not. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap this up and kick off this new chapter in your life. And I know everyone who has made it this far is ready to join. That's pretty obvious because it doesn't cost anything unless you're making more money and there's a guilt-free refund opportunity if you don't. There is no way to lose here, which means no excuses. Saying no is crazy, and I know you're not crazy. Further, you're getting a chance to become part of history. I believe this product will be bigger than the secret ever was. It's the most important info I have ever come in contact with. In all my years studying personal development, I have never seen such radical turnarounds with one single course. The ancient secrets of kings, in short, will make you kings and queens amongst men. I know that with every fiber of my being, my customers agree, my colleagues agree, and you will too. Whatever you do, don't wait. We will be capping the customers for the month shortly because we're getting very close to capacity with what we can support until we make new hires. People who delay are the ones who let their dreams slip by and money always loves speed. So I'm not going to let you waste any more time. There's a button below. Think about what a big turnaround can mean for you. Then make the decision that makes it happen. Hit the button below. Fill out the form on the next page and get instant access to the secrets of kings and let the most exciting ride of your life begin because that's exactly what it will be. You know, I really love guarantees. For those who are still here, and that should be no one, how about a few more? I guarantee you'll have three aha moments in the first 15 minutes of the course. That's a lot of aha moments. And I guarantee you at least one positive, tangible result today before you go to bed. And finally, I guarantee some form of unexpected money will come into your life within one week of starting this course. So go ahead and hit that button. Give me one reason why not. Do it now. I'm not looking for pity, but if you're still here, I just want to explain something. I've invested over $200,000 into this launch to get this out to the world because I believe in what it can do. I'm offering to refund every single one of you, and if that happens, I would lose well over 200 grand. What does that tell you about how much confidence I have in this product? It's a fact. I know you'll get results. I know you'll make more money and have better relationships. I know you'll become more powerful and influential. And I know you'll change the world and trust that you'll change it for the good. I'm believing in you. Believe in me. Just a little. All I ask is you give it a try. No risk. No obligation. Just one day with the product. Even just 15 minutes. All I actually need is 15 minutes to prove to you that this is real. What do you say? Hit the button is what I say. Fill out the form and let's rock. I mean, what if I'm right? 
If I'm right, walking away from this could mean walking away from the life you've always wanted. Pascal's wager always applies here. You gain way more by trying this than not trying this. You can't lose anything if I'm wrong. But if you're wrong, oh boy. If you're wrong and I'm right, you just passed up on paradise. For no reason at all. So hit the button below. Once this video ends, that button should deactivate. You should not be here. You should be in there, making strides in your life. You could have had your first aha moment by now. Well, maybe if you're still here, that means you've got some questions. So let's take care of those right now. The first question we usually get asked is what makes your product different? I bought them all. Well, if we didn't make it clear, we're taking techniques from the elite of all of history, while everyone else is figuring things out on their own. We're taking the most successful men ever, what's already worked for them, and just passing it down to you in a practical, digestible format. This way, you know it's going to work. The second question, is my order secure? Well, incredibly so. We have the same level of security as you would find at your bank. Our processor is the most trusted processor online, trusted for over 10 years with over 1.3 billion of transactions. So if you have any more questions at all, you can shoot a message down at the bottom of the page. Otherwise, go ahead, hit that button. It will be the best thing you ever did. Trust me. The product is actually a lot better than I made it sound, not worst. You will be blown away. Stop dreaming about that carefree, easy life on a beach with no time clocks and no boss. Go get it. Hit the button now, fill out the form, and become the owner of the most powerful secrets in the world.